I'm reading from Job 38, verses 1 through 7 and 34 through 41. God challenges Job. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. Who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up your line, loins like a man. I will question you, and you shall declare to me. Where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me if you have understanding. Who determines its measurements? Surely you know, or who stretched the line upon it? On what were its bases sunk, or who laid its cornerstone? When the morning stars sing together, and all of the heavenly beings shouted for joy, can you lift up your voice to the clouds so that a flood of water may cover you? Can you send forth lightnings so that they may go and stay to you? Here we are. Who has put wisdom in the inward parts or given understanding to the mind? Who has the wisdom to number the clouds? Or who can tilt the water skins of the heavens? When the dust runs into a mass and the clouds cling together, can you hunt the prey for the lion or satisfy the appetite of the young lion? When they crouch in their dens or lie in wait in their coven, who provides for the raven its prey? And when young ones cry to God and wander about for lack of food. So what did this mean to you? Well, God provides us with everything if we keep our faith in Him. So, in other words, He takes care of the animals. He takes care of the people. Job, especially. He had such a time in his life that he kept his faith all through his all his trouble. He takes care of the land, the water, the grain. He takes care of all these plants. So he, he's providing for us as animals and us as well. <coughs> What's your mind on that? Well, as you say, has said he provides for man and he provides for the animals, all, the animals. all creatures. He provides rain for us. He provides the wind and the dust and even when the animals are in their dens I think that he watches over them Great safety dear Heavenly God we thank you for being our God and watch over us you sent a, you sent a son to die for our sins what a blessing that we don't we don't realize how important that is to our faith. And God be with all the creatures that we have around. You provide them for food. And we thank you for this as well as us. So we do thank you, Lord, for all of our many blessings. And we pray for you this time. Amen. <laughs>